Hey guys, uh, a couple notes on Arlington. First off, quarterback Ryan Lavender said his confidence is at all-time high. He's feeling good. Obviously, threw the touchdown pass in the quarterfinals on the final play. Led Arlington on the touchdown drive just now. Said he's feeling good, believes in himself. Also, Arlington, it should be noted, is without two of its top players. Matt Soxia, safety and fullback, would play both ways. He's out sick. Alex Garcia, cornerback safety and kind of a wing back for them, is on vacation. So Arlington in the semifinals without two of its top players, but with the way Lavender is playing, maybe they don't need him today. Hey guys, uh, something I touched on earlier this afternoon, superior league for Arlington, really been moved around a lot in the slot as an H-back. I talked to him before the game. He said he really, really worked hard on learning to catch the ball this year. Had one reception last year. Said he understands that at the college level, he has to catch the ball, and he has to prove now that he can catch the ball so that teams look at him as a complete back and not just a fast guy who happens to carry the football. Said he's worked real extensively with Brian Lavender this offseason, throwing the ball, different routes. He said, you know what? I'm a guy who naturally doesn't have hands, but you can learn to get hands, and that's what he's done. Say he loves the fact they put in the hard work, and he's happy about it. Back to you guys. Uh, obviously, uh, New Niagara Valley secondary made a really nice stop there. They're replacing all four guys in the secondary. Coach Greg Ireland says he's actually been very pleased with the secondary today. They've made some plays. Say so one thing they're getting used to is the speed of the game. Uh, Arlington obviously is a very fast team, and these kids are new out there, so they're still adjusting. Uh, on a different note, uh, linebacker Jake Rye uh, banged head with, heads with somebody out there earlier. Cut up his ear pretty bad, had some ice on it, was bleeding pretty extensively, but he's back in the game. Looks like it's all patched up. Back to you guys. Down here on the field reporting, just talked to Irvin Simmons, the uh, small running back for uh, Muriaga Valley over there who caught the long touchdown pass and yet putting them ahead. Five foot six, but a speedy back. This will be his first year as a starter, playing a lot last year in the reserve role, but he's really excited about the team. He said, above all else, it's about the team. He's gotten looks already from Fresno State and UCLA. He admitted he likes UCLA because of another small back they had, Maurice Jones Drew. He said he kind of reminds, remind him of himself. Little guy who can catch, who can run, he's got a lot of speed, and certainly, as he's proven today, a dynamic player. Back to you guys.